Yo, what's up? This is Eric D. I'm glad y'all stopped by. Real quick, I wanted to kind of show y'all the next stage in my street mini bike doodle bug build off whatever I got going on right here. But the, the next stage is to get the motor in there. But before I do that, I got to get the governor off because we don't need nothing slowing us down. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get the governor off first and try to get the torque converter on there today so we can kind of situate it on the frame and see where everything's going to bolt up and line up so uh first thing i like to do is get the oil out of the motor first and uh take the uh gas tank off take the carburetor off and um and uh look for the little governor arm which is attached to all the throttle linkage and all that good stuff so I'll try to find that and uh, try to get rid of that thing so first thing we got to do is just tear everything down you know I know there's probably a million videos out there of that governor so I'm just gonna go through real quick and uh, tear it on down pretty simple uh, get rid of all the gas lines governor arm right here uh, get rid of that uh, all the little throttle linkage we don't need that that anymore we're gonna cut, cut the top of the governor arm off that way when we open the side of the motor we can pull the other side out take the motor plate off Quick. Try to tap it up gently so I don't break the uh, seal. A little gasket around it is real easy to do though. It's just a real thin paper gasket. I do it every time. popped out with my cover so I had to put it back in there so don't worry about that all you gotta do is make sure your, uh, your little lines match up little dots on the camera match up and uh, we'll pull this governor out right here this little black uh, gear in the back that's the governor uh, then we'll get the other side of this governor arm out the way this black gear in the back that's what you want to get out the way that's the hardest part you have to get a screwdriver and a hammer and kind of break the ring around the uh, uh, the inside ring which is just which really you just breaking the, the whole gear itself anyway so once you break that you get that out the way make sure you, all you got your washers make sure everything's out of the way everything's clean Getting all the washers is probably the hardest part. Make sure it's clean inside. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. Get rid of that governor. And, uh, make sure it's clean. And we'll put the top plate back on. And we'll get the torque converter on there, man. Yeah, that's the hardest part, getting that last washer out of there. Use a little magnet on a little uh, fisher or something so you can fish it out of there. And I'm going to use a self tapping screw to plug the governor hole. Uh, that'd be all good. Alright, let's get the torque converter on there, man. Real easy. Got it from Go Power Sport. They'll line up with these. Uh, center holes on the inside ring right here and they'll usually line up with uh, all the Predator Honda Clone motors so that made it real easy and uh, we'll get this torque converter on there just line up the holes it comes with uh, all the bolts you need 
And the cool thing about it, man, Go Power Sports, man, they, uh, the rear pulley was, came already assembled, so that saved, uh, saved me a whole lot of time. Just gotta put the front pulley together. And, uh, we'll do that real quick. Tighten everything up a little bit. The torque converter sits a little bit lower than the motor. So I like to kind of mock it up real quick. And oh yeah, make sure you cut the uh, oil cap in the back. The little thumb knob, cut it down a little bit because it'll definitely hit the back of the torque converter. That way everything fits kind of flush. Alright, then we put the front pulley on. Put the washer on there first. And it comes with like a spacer. Put the spacer on there. In the back of the pulley plate. We'll stick that on there. The biggest side is out first and it comes keyed so you'll know, Line up right on the keyhole. Make sure you got the brass washer on there. That pulley kind of sits on that. And your pulley uh, is curved on the outside. So make sure that curved side is on the outside. Put that on there like that. And uh, this key chuck spacer kind of pulls the outer pulley. The little spring set up in there and that fits on it just like that and the top plate lines up right on top of that you know have two little grooves in there that kind of lines up and you stick this uh, kind of washer key in there kind of holds everything together just bolt that on in there And there you have it. You gotta hold both hands and make sure it's uh, tight. And uh, there she go. Next time I'm gonna try to get her in there and figure out where the hell she's gonna line up. And it comes with this uh, ugly cover, but I don't think we're gonna need that looks better without it so uh thanks go power sports it worked out real nice next time we're gonna have it in the frame hopefully and uh get some power to it i'll catch y'all next time i'm out <laughs>